and the useless crafters so I know my face is bigger because look what I want to show. <laughs> so this is a cup, cupcake topper. It's a little bit bigger than a cupcake uh, topper because it's for a bunt cake, like a mini one. So each, um, each kid gets a personalized bunt. So it's a little bit bigger, but look at the lantern, right? And then there's Rapunzel and then it's a shaker. It's, I love it. So let, I'm gonna make myself smaller and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so first thing is I did buy these images. So I went on Etsy and searched Rapunzel SVG file. Okay, so let's bring in the images that we used. Um, oops, no, I want to go to upload. Okay, so we used Rapunzel print and cut. I know I wanted to use the her other items as well. And then um, this lantern. All right, so let's insert those two images and I wanna show you some things to do. Okay, so let's first of all, hold on, make her small. So go to the width and just type in like five. Now this lantern, if you can see here, I did it in um, a lavender glitter cardstock. It's super heavy. And the reason why I wanted that is I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So it's just sitting glued on top of the light. So it needed to be of a very sturdy nature. So it's not the Cricut brand. I want to say I bought it at Joanne's Open Stock. And um, if you didn't know this, Joanne has Open Stock paper um, just like throughout the throughout the year. They'll go on sale for anywhere between 50 and 70% off. So of course I wait till 70% off and then I stock up on all these beautiful colors, right? And they're really good quality because like... Um, some of these sheets are, you know, $2 a sheet, $5 a sheet. So I definitely wait for that to buy it. So I, I don't use it all the time, but that's the purple one. Now, the cool thing about this image is if you can see right now, it's in two pieces, right? It's the top lantern and then the bottom half. Well, I don't want it in two pieces. I want it in one piece. So what you want to do is go to shapes and I just brought in a circle, okay? I still like the detail of it, you know, having this slit right here. So it kind of shows that there's um, a, a layer in there, but I don't want to deal with two pieces. So I'm just going to weld this corner right here, okay? So I'm going to go in and kind of put it, my mouse isn't working that well today, but let's grab those two, those two items and weld it. So now when I go to cut this thing, oops, I didn't, what? okay. When I go to cut this, all of the black or the purple layer is one thing. I mean, look at the, the little sun part, right? It's actually the black part is all connected. Everything just falls out. It's a beautiful design. I love it. Now, because we're gonna put a light behind it, okay? So duplicate this lantern and go to contour and hide all. So now we have this beautiful little thing. And um, you know what, the volume paper, when I went to cut this, it did rip a little. So I think what I want to do is this, I want to make this smaller. And I want to just uh, hold on, let's unlock it. And let's get it to the right. Oops. Let's get it right in there to close this up. Okay, grab these two items and weld. And then now this piece, all you do is you click on it and go to contour and hide all. And now you'll have a blank, a full piece. So this piece, I'm going to make it kind of clear so that in my mind, I know it's volume paper. Um, and then this piece, arrange, send to the front. It's gonna sit like this. And then I'm gonna have the light behind it. It looks amazing <laughs> i love it it's like a frosted paper like clear it's i mean i would call it almost like tracing paper if you don't know what that is um i bought it on amazon so it's on my amazon shop as well as the light so it's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter it is under my cake topper materials i appreciate any support there so if you use my links yay i love you <laughs> as my daughter would do. Okay, so this lantern, now that we have the lantern good, what I would do is just go to align, center it so that it's totally on top of each other, and then I would group it. So now whenever I deal with 
with sizing, they both get sized to the same size. So that's going to be important. Okay. Um, I know we're still building things. So we haven't even talked about the structure, but I just want to make sure that you know how to do these little things. Now, um, with print and cut, um, uh, my printer only prints out well on just regular copy paper. So it's thin. Um, and so what I always like to do is um, I bring in a square. So I'm going to print this onto my copy paper. It's super thin. My Cricut's going to cut out the outline, which it did beautifully. No issues at all. I cut it on, sometimes I cut it on medium cardstock. Sometimes I cut it on light cardstock. It just depends on how much I've used that particular blade already. So that's how I do it. Okay, so I take the square, make sure the square completely covers Rapunzel and grab the two items and slice. And so now you have this piece that you can cut in 65 pound cardstock, 110 pound cardstock, whatever. It's gonna sit right behind Rapunzel. So let's arrange, send to the back grab the two items and we're going to center it again because we haven't sized anything yet right and then let's group it so that little piece is going to keep it really sturdy so if you see her hair right here it's not flimsy the whole thing's not curled up everything on this cake topper is sturdy and legit <laughs> that's the one thing i hate is a cake topper that's flimsy um you can have intricate intricate details and designs, but you need to know how to make it sturdy because you don't want anything flopping. Um, could you imagine that? Like you're walking the cake out and the cake topper is like, you know, moving back and forth. We definitely don't want that. Okay, so we fixed that. We fixed the lantern. Let's get the lantern over here. Let's start making it the right colors. So I did that in a purple. Okay, so now we have her, we have the lantern. The only thing we have left is the circle. Now the circle is another SVG file um, on Creative Fabrica that my friend designed. So it's a dollar if you don't, I like it because it comes with um, a two layers. So let me upload that. And I know you get to see all of my, um, all of my projects. So I think it's always fun. Like I love, Whenever people do screen share, when I used to have conference calls, I'm always so nosy and just like looking. <laughs> um, darn it, where is this circle? And I don't remember what I saved it as. Oh, here it is. So it's this little guy over here. What you want to do is you want to ungroup it. And I am I don't remember why there's a line, but you could just delete that line. There's three layers to this thing, so you can ungroup it some more. I only have two layers. I did this, this one and this one. This one I didn't do. So, okay, on this one though, I got rid of all the cutouts. So go to contour and it's up to you. It's just the little details, but to me, I just, this is a, um, oh, I want, this is a, for a cupcake. So it's kind of smaller. I just didn't want my paper to get ripped up and things like that. So, all right, so we have this. And you have this. So this goes on top. That's my um, my shimmer gold paper or my sparkle gold paper. So let's change that color to gold. This is not quite the same purple, but it's fine. Arrange, send to the back, because this is gonna sit on top like this, okay? So then what I did was I took this and I made copies, okay? One copy is going to be my foam. So I'm going to change the color so that I know it's my foam. So let's just make it blue. And then I had two acetate paper layers, right? So my foam is here. This is going to click contour, hide all. This is going to be your acetate paper. Okay. And then your foam goes on top. All your sequins, glitter, all that good stuff goes in the middle because this is your wall and then this is your um, acetate paper that goes on top to keep it enclosed right so again go to contour and just hide all and now you have a solid piece so let's grab these two pieces and make it a different color so that you know it is your um, acetate layer okay so here's the acetate here's the foam 
And then on top is this, so arrange, send to the front. That's your pretty color that's gonna come through. This is gonna sit way on top. This is the gold border. All right, so things are coming together, right? Um, so here you can go to arrange, or I'm sorry, align and center it so that you can, everything is the way it's supposed to be. And then here's our lantern. Now, originally the way I had this design was I had the lantern on this side and I had Rapunzel on this side, arranged sent to the front, because, you know, I thought it would be cool that her hair goes through the sequins in the middle. But what happened was I glued my light down and I glued my light bulb upside down. So then I needed to turn everything over. So I turned the lantern on this side and this is on this side. So it's totally up to you. Now, what I would say about sizing is size it to whatever you want to. Don't worry about how big everything is. Make it proportionate to each other. So if this lantern is proportionate to Rapunzel, then you're good. I think I might want to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. And Rapunzel looks good within the circle. The lantern looks good. If you like everything, now grab it and size it. So, you know, do you want this to be five inches across or um, six? So then you size everything at the same time, okay? Um, and that's how I do everything. I do my cake toppers that way. I don't worry about what size it is at the beginning. I just start making everything relative to each other. And then we'll get to the measurements and see, you know, how big something should be. But this way, everything gets, you know, it to me, it looks proportionate. All right, that's it. So let me delete this. I'm going to go to the make it screen so you can see what it looks like. And I can talk you through it one more time so that you know what your layers are. Okay, so let's go to make it. All right, so print and cut. You're gonna hit print, it's gonna go to your printer, it's gonna come out and it's gonna look just like this. You need to put it on your mat just like this. So it needs to be standing straight up. Rapunzel can't be on her side, okay? It needs to be straight up, it needs to be put in this corner. Your Cricut is going to read this registration mark and know to cut in here beautifully. And it cut everything. Let me make this bigger so you can see it. So it cut like the little details right here in between this little pocket right there. I mean, everything, no tears, nothing. Okay. So, all right. Let me make myself smaller. <laughs> okay. So then um, this is your acetate paper. Now I don't use acetate paper. It's on my Amazon shop. I use the Avery protect sheet protectors. It's so cheap. So, and it's worked fine for me. And I think I mentioned it on my other video. It also works well for the button machine maker. So I just got a, you know, the personalized button maker from We Are Memory Keepers and they use Mylar paper, but I already have Avery sheet protectors and it felt the same. So you can now have multi, multi uses for it. Okay, so this is gonna be your acetate paper. It's going to make a sandwich and in between is your foam layer and that's what's gonna hold all your sequins, glitter, whatever extras that you want. Now, if you want thicker extras, like um, I've seen people put in like little beads and whatever, you're gonna need to double up your foam. The foam layer here is just enough to hold the sequins and the glitter. So if you want more stuff, then you add more foam, okay? All right, so this is the acetate top and bottom, like a burger, okay? Your buns. Okay, this is your volume paper for your lantern. This is the cardstock layer for Rapunzel to make her sturdy. This is the top of your um, cupcake topper, basically the pretty gold part. Um, this is maybe the foam, I think. Yes, this is the foam layer. This is the purple glitter for your lantern. And you want to make sure this is sturdy because this is going to sit kind of like just glued on top of the light bulb. Okay, so it needs to be like, it needs to stand by itself basically. Um, and this is the pretty purple behind the gold. And that's it. It's super simple. I'm going to make it big again just so that you can see everything and I'll talk you through what you see. So that's everything here. The back is kind of ugly because I moved the stick around because again, I, you know, messed up on the light bulb. There's the light bulb and you see what I mean about this 
um, this paper being sturdy. It's standing, it's glued just like right here and it's staying straight up. And then all your sequins. And I'll just flip over again. I mean, this is so cute. Could you imagine? It's, it's pretty extra. <laughs> And I definitely didn't have anything like this for my birthdays when I was a kid. Um, but this is going to go to each individual friend with their own personal mini bunt cake. It's pretty, it's pretty special. All right. So if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. I will see you next time. Bye.